So yesterday while taking this turret out, um, a little test drive, grab some E85 for the first time under his own power. Um, I was playing around with a car or whatnot, and I noticed I was losing boost pressure as the drive, you know, got longer and longer. Once I got home, uh, I would say like 30 minutes before I got home, I noticed that the car kept shutting off on me. It would turn back on fine, but it would shut off. I got a check engine light. Just, you know, put it back here into the garage, and I decided to check what could potentially be the problem. So now, as you guys can see, I have the fuel rail taken out. I have the blow off valve side uh, charge pipe off. So what I noticed was, let me see if I can get you guys focused in here. See that crack right there? So the intake was cracked because it wasn't making the boost that it should have been making yesterday. I guess the crack just got larger as I did that little drive. And I'm noticing more things. For example, JB Weld. This is this is not how you do it, man. Listen, my advice to everybody, if you ever build a race car, when you break stuff, especially metal, don't JB welded, go get it welded. Um, those cheap routes around your car is gonna cost you more time and more money. But um, let me just finish removing this and then we'll take it from there. Just got the reservoir tank in. Nice early delivery. That's gonna replace that ugly thing right there. I don't like that. It works. You'll be surprised how many race cars got like this, but I like it a little bit more picked up. So we're gonna go with this. Location is gonna look something like this. Just show you guys a little mock up. Don't think about that right there. Much better, right? This is gonna sit a little higher though. It's gonna be somewhere like right there. So taking this to the welder, your friend of mine. Is, remember how I showed you guys how a nice little crack there. I'm gonna take it it over he's gonna try to get it done we'll go pick up the kids and uh let's see what's the next move a few minutes later so we got it back from my well guy personal friend of mine's pablo did an amazing job on the welds so before we install it back into the car um i'm a little picky and just seeing it like this with the paint fading and all that. We're gonna strip the paint, we're gonna paint it. Nice surprise color for you guys. Uh, you might pinpoint what the color might be just by looking at the engine bay. And I got some help today. That's my oldest JP. So while we get that painted right there, uh, we're going to try to get the reservoir tank that I ordered installed. Um, hopefully that kills some time. We have about like two hours a day, like we should be able to do it. Um, and then tomorrow we will get back to this after the paint is pretty much dry. We'll install it back and then... Um, Continue to troubleshoot a few other things, try to get her tip-top shape, 
building, you know, the complete boost that she throws because that was the issue of the drive that I had with her. So, uh, like I said, let's get this painted. Let's get that installed. Just keep watching. Okay, now we have JP here. Pretty much uh, rubbing the aircraft removal, well, aircraft paint removal off the manifold. Try to get all the paint off. Then we're going to give it a nice little clean. And the new paint will come on. So, uh, again, stick Mystery. around to the next slide. What you said? Mystery. Mystery? Color. Should we keep it a mystery? Yep, mystery. Uh, I think there's a clue in the background. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you guys know the color now. But yeah, stick around. So now JP is drying up the intake manifold after a nice uh, wet sand. It's called a wet sand, JP. That's what we just finished doing. Wet sanding process just like that. The paint sticks to the manifold a little bit better, of course, because it is aluminum. Uh, so that's a smart thing to do before actually painting anything. Uh, yeah, just make sure you get the bottom of the runners, JP. All along to the bottom. Um, all right, on to the next phase. All right, so here's the intake manifold. We got a little mast up. Um, it's not the best, but of course, we're gonna um, just have it at least temporarily neatly for right now, a little bit neat. Uh, sorry for the mix of words, but um, yeah, let's get it painted. So we're about to apply the paint. The sun has come down, so we're going to end it short after this paint. Tomorrow we will do the um, coolant reservoir tank, install this bad boy, and uh, troubleshoot the turbo side, make sure everything is buttoned up correctly. And while JP shakes this, um, show him the color. Purple. Purple. We're going with the perp. Of course, because I got a purple timing belt. I don't know if you guys see it here in the dark purple blow valve and I have a uh, purple wastegate so that's how we're gonna do it so today before we install this early this morning we take these bad boys it's a friend of mine's we'll get them cleaned out the car runs on the 85 so I don't know how long the car sat with the 85 or a few on the lines or anything along those lines. Plus, if you look in there, they're a little dark. So I'm gonna get them cleaned out. Make sure the flow rates is good. Data logs look good as far as fueling, but you never know. So I'd rather go clean them now. See ya.
Pedro Marvin. Say it a little louder. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Yes, sir.